my name is AJ from Exploit. I do like the US and the Japanese community manager, and today I wanted to showcase you the new updated uh, Exploit Gamecaster. So Exploit Gamecaster, we had a, pro, a product called Exploit Gamecaster uh, before already. However, it was super bare bone. It only had the gameplay and camera. And we had the Exploit Broadcaster that allows you to do a lot more things. We wanted to have a solution that's a lot uh, simpler, but you can do something better than the old Exploit Gamecaster. So like something in between, uh, between the broadcaster and the old Gamecaster. So we came up with a new updated version of the Exploit Gamecaster that's been rolling out in like two to three weeks. First of all, so what we wanted to do was to allow users to go ahead and be able to try to find uh, really good uh, overlays as well. So we actually have provided them with a lot of templated overlays that people can actually choose if, and with divided by categories as well. You can have Battle Royale, First Person, MMORPG Generic, even IRL content that we are planning to actually ship as well. And for with getting more feedback, we were thinking of making actually more templates as well. However, it's not you're not limited to be using all these templates. You can actually go ahead and download a template and then show up and then you can also edit these templates as you wish as well. The fun, the, for instance, if you go to the edit scene, it'll show up another screen. We, we use Strexem over here, but then you can have your own camera source, text alerts. You can add your own web-based alerts as well by adding a widget. You can have your own, uh, if you have your own graphics, you can add those or even videos or anything like that or any alerts. Uh, web page, uh, web based alerts, HTML based alerts, you are able to use. So if you can, if you actually have another service alerts in, uh, for instance, Stream Elements or Stream Labs as well, you can actually use that alert in uh, Exploit Gamecaster as well. So if, after that, you can go ahead and customize it. You can make the camera small, big, pretty much whatever you want. If you want to add a game source to this area as well, you can go ahead and add a widget go to sources, and then you can select a game source. And if you add a source, it'll automatically detect which kind of game source you want to go ahead and add. And then you can go ahead and resize as you wish, how you like it. Maybe just put it over here. And then just have the alert down here. Maybe you don't want the text over here, so just kind of move it around. You can kind of freely do whatever you want with it, and then go ahead and save. And if you want to make sure that everything works well, you can go ahead and go to testing. It'll show up. You have the game. You got the camera. Let's see if the alert works. It shows up. The alert works, and you're all set. You want to go back and go ahead and all of this. And you can go ahead and add more sources too. You don't have to use those themes that it's provided. You can just pretty much make anything from scratch as well by going to create your own. It'll show up and then it, first the thing, it'll think that you'll just want the game. So you want to go ahead and go ahead and edit that and then you can go ahead and add uh, pictures, videos, whatever uh, uh, graphics you have already prepared, implemented over here as well. And after that, we actually also wanted to focus on giving uh, streamers tools to live stream with uh, limit, not limited, but um, less resources as possible. People say when you live stream, you want two monitors, one for the video game and then one for anything you want to monitor, chat, uh, what events, what's going on with your live stream, and pretty much the statistic. But we wanted to give uh, streamers a tool be able to do that with just one monitor. So what, how we were able to do this is if you can imagine this video game footage right now is pretty much uh, full screen and you only have one monitor. By pressing control tab you can actually open up an in-game HUD. This in-game HUD the viewer does not see, only you see. And you can actually have a list of uh, scenes that you can transition to if you click here you will see that it has seen, tra uh, transitioned into a different scene and only viewers are seeing this. Viewers are seeing this and the streamers can pretty much see this. And then also while you are live streaming you want to check on chat, live stream stats, you can go ahead and pin a widget on your gameplay, vi uh, gameplay feed. However, the, vi the viewers does not see this at all. So you can actually see add a chat over here, stream events over here, and then maybe stream stats on the left side. And then you can also set so you can have like a zero background, so just completely op 
transparent background, just have the chat on, or just because it's kind of hard to see, maybe add a little uh, transparent background or have the background completely visible as well. And you can also set it so you can have, after like five seconds an inactivity, it fades away so you can actually focus on the video game footage and not just watch the chat, just stay on the game uh, screen as well. So after adding all that, how it looks, you go control tab and you can see chat, event, and some stats. And then if you fi wait five seconds, they will disappear. So after that, so this is pretty much what we wanted to go ahead. We wanted to make, streamline, give the tools uh, to the streamer, be able to live stream on multiple platforms, uh, to other platforms, make it a lot easier. Go, go log in, you can select where you want to go, Twitch, Mixer, Facebook, YouTube, or you want to record, and then go ahead, if you want to set, set stuff up, you can go ahead and set other things up as well. And this is pretty much what uh, Exploit Gamecaster is, that we wanted to roll out, give a lot more uh, streamers freedom of changing scenes uh, compared to the older Gamecaster where you didn't have any scenes that you can transition into. Now you were able to actually create your own scene, but at the same time, as it, it's a lot more easy and visual, what you see is what you get, so you don't have to go through uh, confusing AI or UI of like a bunch of text because you see pretty much the visualization is a lot more simple for people to be able to navigate. So that's the XSplit Gamecaster and also this year we also right now is showcasing the XSplit VCam. We just released this this year as well. What this allows you to do is without a green screen you will be able to focus on yourself. So let's go ahead and check that out. So this is XSplit Game uh, VCam. I'm going to just drag this on top. What it allows you to do you can also blur the background, so you can actually kind of have that XLR uh, camera effect with just a webcam as well. And this actually works with any webcam or video source as possible. So if you have a HD camcorder being captured by a, a capture card and using that as a video uh, source file, you can actually add that and then kind of add the background removal as well. And then what's cool about this is that other than blurring the background, you can also remove the background as well. Unfortunately, right now, because this is a con event and then the lighting, it might be a little too dark. It might not work as well as intended, but you can definitely use a good background effect move the background without uh, any green screen. So for instance, you can go to a hotel room or anywhere else. If you're traveling around, you can actually live stream without having a background or you can blur the background or even replace the background as well with any stock footage. You can browse your local file, online web page or anything like you can see recently you use. And you can add a blur to that too. So if you want to add a, add a little stylized blur to your background, you can do this too. So what we wanted to do was you can also travel with Gamecaster and your webcam and be able to live stream like you can at your own studio as well without bringing the lighting, game ca uh, green screen, and all that thing. Because Exploit Gamecaster, you, this whole scene and presentation is saved on the cloud. So it's pretty much cloud. So if you can log, if you want to log out and then log into another Gamecaster and another computer, you don't have to bring any files or anything. It just comes with, it'll show up all the presentation that you already have made. So you, it's a lot more easier for streamers to just go all around and be able to live stream as well. So this is pretty much what we are showcasing at TwitchCon right now, XSplit Gamecaster and XSplit VCam. Thank you. So definitely having able to actually have different scenes as first. Before, we only were able to do uh, the webcam, the game itself, and then be right back screen when you go inactive to show. That's the only thing we were able to do with the XSplit Gamecaster. As much as it's simple it is, it could have been really simple. Also, you can actually add a lot of different uh, transition, or not transition, but the graphics as well. We provide a lot of templates. Uh, for that too, so people can actually customize with your own uh, graphics or with the templates that we provide. In XSplit Gamecaster, you were able to put pictures or GIFs, but the old one, but that's pretty much it. Like, you were only were able to make one particular screen and you just needed to stick with it. And that's, that's one thing. And also, because it wasn't really cloud-based save file, so you can't just log into an XSplit Gamecaster to another computer and expect all that to 
be together. So unfortunately, that as well. And being able to have a, a lot more freedom of, I guess, being checking your stats and seeing what you see. Because the game HUD with the chat being on screen and not being on a screen on live stream, we had that. However, other than that, we pretty much didn't have it on Gamecaster. So pretty much adding all those like freedom of creativity to the Gamecaster, like the newer Gamecaster compared to the old game. Probably, I think this would be a lot more easier actually than the older Gamecaster because when the first thing you open, you'll see studio, themes. So the moment you click on themes, what you actually see is all these cool looking um, overlays. And then when you click on the overlay, it tells you exactly what, like, what kind of scene you are being given. There's an in-game, intermission, and then start. So pretty much this tool also teach a viewer or like a user how, what kind of scenes they would like to have uh, live streaming. Because when you first start live streaming, you don't really know exactly what kind of scene you do unless you do like research. But then a lot of people look at streamers and be like, I want to do that too. But then they'll download the program and then they'll be like, now what? However, here you can actually look at it and be like, okay, this, this, is, this kind of scene is what you need, kind of deliberately kind of teach them what's like the basic aspect of trying to live stream and then from there they can keep on adding more stuff as well so I will say it's definitely a lot more user friendly and it also teaches users how to live stream as well so it will be a lot more easier and then it'll it's pretty much that's why we didn't want to pretty much show too much text over here a lot more visualization with and be able to be like okay there's stream click on it and then it shows Mixer, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube. So this is where I log in. And it's definitely probably a lot more easier and user friendly for a lot of beginners live stream. So we've been working on this for quite a while. Um, when we actually started working from uh, this year, we were uh, wanting to improve, be able to give tools to live streamers. Because after like we announced, I released the XSplit VCAM, we were thinking into make giving tools to live streamers, be able to give uh, pretty much help users to become live streams as well. So what it is is because uh, pretty recently we have sponsored OBS too, and in that uh, our um, C uh, CMO CEO CMO uh, Andreas has mentioned that we want to have a we don't want a bigger slice, but we want to have a bigger pie and a smaller size. So we want people to be able to easily live stream. So since then, we were actually working on um, trying to make a simpler tool, but not too simple. Allows streamers to be able to go ahead and stream like how other streamers are, but not too hard, like be able to uh, simplify the process of becoming a live streamer. So been definitely, like since the, like Big Known this year, we've been working on Yes, if you have a premium membership, uh, if you have a lifetime premium membership, this will be available for them as well.